It is summer. Yes, full-blown summer. It's holiday season. It's summertime season and that means summer fragrance season and yes else today we are doing a dedicated fragrance review on a scent that has been asked about a lot in my comments in my dms this is a highly talked about scent and guess what it's not brand new but the girls are talking about it so today we're gonna do a dedicated review on it and yes oh hello elves welcome back to the channel <laughs> Where are my manners? Today we are talking about none other than a fragrance from the house of Kaali. And the fragrance we are talking about is Kaali's Utopia. What's well, full name? Kaali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. So we're gonna do a dedicated review on this scent. And I'm excited about it because I've had this scent about two, three months now. So I can really talk about it and play with it. Plus now we're actually in the season of this scent, which I deem is most appropriate for summer. So yeah, spoiler alert. This is a summer fragrance and yeah i think we may possibly have a new summer favorite but last before we get into this tea elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone i went with a oldie but goodie summertime classic i felt bright and we went with candy yum yum by mac the original neon barbie pink lipstick if you didn't know now you know get you some candy yum yum in your life I remember when you couldn't get this color and people were selling it for like a hundred dollars and stuff on eBay. It was crazy. Again, MAC Candy Yum Yum lipstick. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. To keep with the summertime vibes, I went with a summer scent. I think I've deemed it a summer scent as well. This is from the house of Valentino and this is the latest installment in the Donna Born in Roma um, collection. This is the Coral Fantasy fragrance. We are rocking this today so fruity i have a full dedicated review on this fragrance as well i'll link it up top for you all to definitely check out at your leisure but yeah this is a summertime scent for sure and i feel juicy right now while wearing it again valentino's coral fantasy is your fragrance of the day so now elves let's talk about kaoli's utopia vanilla coco 21. So as always, I have a few notes about the fragrance. I'd like to give you all the quick specs and a rundown on the scent. So one thing about Vanilla Utopia Cocoa 21, this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. And one thing about this one as well, this is a part of their Eau de Parfum Intense line with Kaali. Kaali is a niche brand. It's a sister brand to Huda Beauty which we know very well from the makeup situation. I'm actually wearing some Huda Beauty today. Her new faux filter concealer is what I did to highlight with. So yes, very familiar with Huda Beauty, but now I'm loving Kaali as of late and I've been wanting to talk about it more on the channel. Another thing, this fragrance was released in 2021. Last year, cause I'm filming this video in 2022. So this fragrance has been out a year. So it's new-ish, but it's not brand new. It's not fresh off the press releases. Although you would think it was new, the way I'm seeing it more so in my social media feeds. And the other thing about this fragrance, it comes in three sizes. The first size is a 10 mil travel size and it retails for $27. Then we have the standard middle of the road size. That is the 50 mil size and that retails for $100. And then the big daddy size, the 100 mil size retails for $138. You can order these, of course, from Kaali's website as well as Sephora. And I'm starting to see maybe some other places are starting to carry it, but those are the main two retailers that I have noticed carry Kaali fragrances. And so now let's get into the notes for Kaali because I know you all like to know what is in there as I am a note junkie as well. So when it comes to the notes, the top notes are honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, and coconut. The middle notes, we have jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, and ambrette. And then the base notes, we have sandalwood, patchouli heart, vanilla bourbon, and musk. And you know what? Since we're doing a dedicated review, they have a write-up on here and it's kind of fun. So I'm gonna read it to you all as well. So let's see here. Take a dip in your dreams where the clouds seem within reach and you're blissfully floating in a glittering pool of possibilities. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, Eau de Parfum Intense with the fragrance of creamy sandalwood and sweet white florals are topped with milky coconut, then whipped together with vanilla bourbon to evoke that sense of freedom from reality, transporting you to your perfect world, your utopia. Okay, this just sounds like this is everything and then some. It's going to help me escape my reality and get to where I want to be in life based on that write-up. So you know what? Let's get into the fragrance. <laughs> 
So this is the full presentation. I have the 50 mil size, which is the 1.74 ounce size, middle of the road. Check it out. And whenever you see these little diamonds on the packagings of Kaoli fragrances, that means it's an intense version. A cool thing about Kaoli fragrances, when you read up on them, they are meant to be layered. So I know some people kind of get mad sometimes about like, oh, why isn't everything beast mode? Why isn't beast mode? The fragrance house literally is written up to be layered. So when something's meant to be layered, everything can't be nuclear. It's meant for you to layer your fragrances and create your own custom scent. So yes, when you know that, when you read that, it helps you better understand the concept behind the brand. I have to say that <laughs> because I've seen people complain. I'm like, yeah, they didn't read the whole concept behind the brand at all. So that's why we do dedicated reviews to educate the people. Oh, and emphasis, this isn't sponsored. It's just not, I just feel like doing a dedicated review. So anywho, <sighs> I just had to go ahead and get a little whiff of that real quick. <laughs> and another thing I like about the boxes too is that you do have some of the notes on the back. If you did a quick synopsis of the notes, say you're in Sephora, you're just picking it up. You're like, hmm, let me just see. For me, the main note that sticks out with this fragrance is the vanilla bourbon and then their coconuts. And then I gotta say sandalwood too. So this lets me know this is going to be a boozy vanilla coconut scent so when i hear that i'm like okay this is giving summer already so now when it comes to fragrances i always like to spray a little bit on my test strips and get into the atomizer again that is just so finely milled it's such a lovely even distributed mister i like that so now when it comes to our fragrances, you all know, I have my own rating system. And when it comes to doing dedicated reviews, the first thing we talk about is mood. And that is literally, how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing this fragrance? The second category that we discuss fragrances is with strength. And that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just water in a pretty bottle to 10 being nuclear. Third is longevity. And that's how many hours long did this fragrance last? Could I continue to smell it? As well as others around me being able to smell it. Then the last category, arguably the most important for a lot of people is, is this a compliment getting fragrance? Yes or no? So now you know how I rate fragrances, so let's talk about it. This has had some time to dry down, so yeah. Whew. Mm. I definitely get the coconut. I get the musk. I get the vanilla bourbon. A little dash of the pear up top. But yeah, those are the main things I smell. This is, this is really nice. This is very creamy. This is very luxurious. This is very sexy. So, okay, mood. This is sexy. Summertime sexy, to be very specific. Again, emphasis on the coconut, emphasis on the vanilla bourbon. And that sandalwood always is what makes something creamy, y'all. This is summertime sexy. I would wear this going into the evening. This is giving sunset, so transitioning from going from work and all that, but I've gone home, showered, and put on a sundress because I'm going out tonight. Yeah, this is definitely summertime date night. I'm digging it. Mm -hmm. So now strength on a scale of one to 10. The strength of this one to me is about a seven. So it's very nice, it's very pleasant, which is another reason why I think it's great for summer because it's not nuclear. When it's so hot outside, like right now, it's literally 95 degrees where I'm at. I cannot handle something that is nuclear. I need something that is on the moderate to lighter side right now, so it will not choke me out as well as my guests. So that's why, because again, this is about a seven. I think it's scaled right where it needs to be for a summertime scent. But for that reason, I would not wear this when it is cold. That's just me personally, but for some heat, it's a seven and I think it does what it needs to do. Mm. Now let's talk about longevity. Mm. With this fragrance, I get a solid five hours out of. So, kind of so-so, kind of mid-range. It's not the worst fragrance, but it's not the longest lasting fragrance. It's about five by itself. I will say again, going back to Kaoli's main mantra in that they're meant to be layered. When you layer this, it definitely lasts longer. So, you know what? We'll talk about that another time. Layering combinations I do with this scent. That's a whole another situation <laughs> but it's definitely a good layerable scent i will say that now for the final category which is one most people care about is is this a compliment getting fragrance yes or no 
Y'all, let me tell you something. This gets compliments. This gets compliments. People are like, oh, you just smell so tropical. You just smell like you just got off vacation. Those are the main two things I have heard when I've worn this scent. And again, like I say, I've had this fragrance for about two, three months. So I've had time to play with it and wear it. And that tends to be the vibe. Everybody's like, you just smell really tropical and like you went on vacation. So if that's the vibe you want to do, for my people that are planning trips say even my people that might be going on say a fall holiday situation a fall vacation think like fall break for how we do here with the education system we do a fall break in october i would wear this if i'm say going somewhere like miami or to the caribbean because now october is cold here in tennessee but down south further down south the caribbean is warm so i would still wear this on a fall holiday that's just my thing because it's, it's so tropical smelling it's very exotic smelling and i enjoy that so if that's the vibe you're looking for i think you will absolutely love kaoli's utopia so final thoughts on this fragrance i think it is amazing and i must say too this is for sure in my top three of my kaoli fragrances it almost might be number one i'm not quite ready to say it's number one yet because the year is still young I'll make the distinction by the end of the year. So stay tuned for a later video on ranking my Kaoli fragrances. But I will say you all, I really enjoy Utopia. And to me, this goes on the list this year for being possibly Summertime Bay. This will be on my list. I can already tell for fragrances that I enjoyed the most for summer 2022. I'm already put on the list to be excited about wearing it. This thing already smells like summer and I'm definitely enjoying it. So yes, those are my thoughts on Kaoli Utopia. It's fantastic. Definitely check it out when you can, if you go to your Sephora next time, or you can definitely just go ahead and purchase it, that type of thing, you know. Hey, you just look for summertime vibes, it's really good. So as always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're digging the content, please hit that subscribe button, like button, all the above. And if you weren't here for any of this, that is okay too. I still appreciate you taking time out to watch my review today. So until next time, I will catch y'all next video. Bye, elves.